Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth session of sets in Python. In this session, we will learn about the following mathematical set operations like intersection, intersection update, union difference, symmetric difference, symmetric difference update, subset, superset and disjoint set. So let's start. As usual, uh, I will open the, I have already opened my PyCharm editor and these are my two sets on which we will initiate, okay? So I'll, I'll execute the two set and my two sets are already created, set one and set two, okay? Now the very first operation is the intersection. So intersection is nothing but the common element. So the intersection of the set one and set two will be obviously six, but how do we write in the mathematical expression? So one way of writing will be set one ampersand set two, okay? And the other way will be set one dot intersection set two. Okay. So if we execute this four line, obviously the output should be six. So the output is six. I have given this set only. It should be set one. Okay. So let us go back. It should be set one here. We'll execute this two sets again. Okay, so what I will do now, we will execute this four lines and let's see what it gives the output. It will be six, six and then, so you can see the output of set one and set two is nothing but the intersection and also this print set one dot intersection set two is also six and followed by my set one and set two. We can also say that if you want to take some strings, you can say set one is equals to and then what you can do you can simply get this value and print it here so i simply copy pasted and this will be set to so let's execute these six lines so answer should be obviously apple because that is the only item which is common in both the set okay so let's execute this so apple is the only so intersection we are done with intersection the next topic is intersection update so in case of intersection update okay when we are running s1 dot intersection s2 we are getting a resultant set and my existing set is not being changed we will execute these two lines we will take this okay and what we'll do we'll say set1 dot intersection update of set2 in this case what happens I'll get nothing but my input set okay which is set one it will be changed it, it will be overridden by the output okay so that is the difference between intersection and intersection update set two will remain as it is but only set one will change so now let's go into our third topic union suppose we have our set this is our set and how do we get union there are two ways of uh, writing the union one is set one this pipe set two okay and the other way will be set one dot union set two okay so once you execute this the first two lines will uh, give you uh, all the uh, like uh, fruits here and obviously duplicate will not be repeated these two lines will give you the same output and this set one and set you set two will give you the output of this set one apple orange guava banana strawberry apple so let's execute this you can see the first two line will give you see set one union set two is the same but print set one and set two will be like this line will come here though it is in an ordered way okay so i believe union is we are done with union so let's go and check the next topic to be covered okay the next topic is the difference i have this set one is equals to one two and three and set two is equals to three four and five now which item is common in both the thing this one two three right so set one if we say set one minus set of one minus set of two the output will be whatever it's remaining is one comma two right one and two and set two minus set one if we say set two minus set one the output whatever it's remaining is four five so it will be 
4 comma 5 and your uh, existing uh, sets remain the same so if we say here set 1 minus of set 2 or this you can say or you can say set 1 dot difference of set 2 and then you can print set 1 set 2 okay so let's execute this four lines so you can see here right my set one is apple orange guava and banana strawberry apple the one which is common in both is apple you remove apple from both so in set one is left with orange and guava so that is why set one minus set two now similarly if you and uh, this uh, this is also give you the same right okay again i have given this same error one minute i'll still give here set one so now you can see here right? these two lines are output are same now what if I have just given here set 1 minus set 2, what will happen if I give set, set 2 minus set 1? So we will copy the entire line of code and we will say instead of set, we will say set 2 minus set 1 and then I will give set 2 minus set 1. So now what we will do, we will execute this line of codes. Okay, so in this both the lines or uh, apple is common So set 2 will become if I give set 2 minus set 1 it will become a uh, banana strawberry and it will be strawberry comma banana because it will be uh, unordered and then we have the following set 1 and set 2 being printed. The next topic in the list is let's complete the symmetric difference and uh, symmetric difference update. Okay, now we will take the same set. Okay, we'll take the same set. Okay, when we say symmetric difference it will be code, uh, coded as set1 dot symmetric difference underscore difference set2 so it will be what it uh, now what will happen our set1 is how much 1 2 3 s1 set1 and set2 is 3 4 5 so what you do you remove the these two items and then you are left with 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 so this is my output of symmetric difference so let us apply here in our console so we'll say here set 1 is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and set 2 is equals to 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay now set 1 dot symmetric to difference can be written as set 1 and then you give this symbol set 2 or you can give this set one dot symmetric difference okay now let's execute this set one dot symmetric difference will be output by one two four five so let's execute this one two four five for these two uh, lines the output will be the same and the last two lines is one two three four three four five okay so i believe i am making sense here now let us go into the symmetric difference update and symmetric difference is nothing but the xor gate that what we say okay then we have this symmetric difference update symmetric difference update and symmetric difference the output will be the same only the set will be changed like if you take this we'll take the entire thing okay okay and we will say this set one is one two three set two is three four five set one symmetric difference if we say symmetric difference here so set one symmetric difference update okay let's apply the symmetric uh, difference update so in this case what will happen the output will be the same uh, symmetric difference uh, and uh, symmetric difference update output will be the same it will be 1 2 4 5 but set 1 will be updated instead of 1 2 3 it will be 1 2 4 5 so let's execute this so you can see here right set 1 was initially how much 1 2 3 but now we have applied this operation set 1 dot symmetric difference update set 2 so what will happen this 3 will be removed and then we have 1 2 4 5 and that will be copied into my set 1 okay this set one will be copied here now similarly if you say i want to apply similarly if you say i want to apply set two dot symmetric difference of set one in this case and we will create our new sets okay in this case what will happen my set 2 will be changed, my set 1 remains the same because I am applying this symmetric difference on set 1 and the output will be stored in this set 2. Okay, so I believe I am making sense and I am able to make you understand the logic.
okay the next topic uh, is we have we have we have covered both symmetric difference and the symmetric difference of right now we are left with superset subset and disjoint set so we'll start now so let us say we have a set okay set 3 okay and then we will say set 1 is equals to 2 3 okay now if you can see here my set 1 contains the element of set 3 right so we can say set 3 dot is sub subset of which one set 1 right so this will ideally it will give you so if you execute this if it is correct it will give you boolean true or false true right because 6 7 is a part of set 1 now the other way of writing this will be set 3 is less than equals to set 1 if you execute this this will also give you true because this set is the value element is less than equal to the set 3 element is less than equal to the set 1 similarly we can write about the superset it will be just a reverse okay so instead of this set 3 i will say set 1 is super set of set 3 okay and let's see what happens if i say the vice versa like set 3 is super set of set 1 and here we have to give set 1 is greater than equal to set set 3 3 now we will execute this So we can see the very first line here. The print statement: Set one is a superset of set three. Yes, true. Now set three is a superset of set one. False. Then set one is greater than equal to set three. Yes, absolutely correct. So we are covered. We have covered is subset is superset, and then we are left with is disjoint. So disjoint is nothing but a, whether both the set contain any matching item or not. Okay. So you can say set one dot dist disjoint. set 2 and then we'll say set 2 dot this joint set 1 so in both the cases in both the cases here we don't have any common element right so what it will throw in both this case both the print statement oh uh, okay this is this will be this joint ha huh. so we'll execute this again Okay, in both the cases, whether it's set one dot uh, set one dot is disjoint set two or set two dot is disjoint set one, both the cases it will be true because they, in both the cases we don't have any common elements. Let's see what happens if we have some common elements. So if you can see here, we can say that because both the sets both the set have a common element, then it will be shown as the output will be false. And the case in which if you don't have any uh, like element common, that is a disjoint set. And the case in which you have a common element, it's not a disjoint set. So that's why here it is true and here it is false. So I believe I am able to make you understand the underlying logic and the. mathematical set operations so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also if possible please share my video video with your friends and, and i'll be coming up with the next video that is on the frozen set the topic is the frozen set so i'll see you in my next video thank you